Headline news most affecting Chilliwack this week. The provincial health officer clamps down on social gatherings for two weeks during the pandemic. Elections BC releasing the final results from the mail-ins and the NDP come out on top. Also, the COVID-inspired rent freeze is extended. Plus, the COVID restrictions hit local sports and fitness quite hard. Our special guest this week, MLA-elect Kelly Patton. All right, Chilliwack, let's get started. For the next two weeks, residents in both Fraser Health and the Vancouver Coastal Health regions are essentially on a lockdown. At a rare Saturday afternoon press briefing, Dr. Bonnie Henry, the BCPHO, or Provincial Health Officer, laid down the law. No social gatherings, i.e. no visits with friends indoors, allowed in Fraser Health and Vancouver Coastal until November the 23rd. All spin classes, dance, yoga, fitness classes, all suspended for two weeks. Churches can remain open so long as they continue to abide by existing regulations. And party buses and limos? Well, they have to be parked. Face masks are becoming the norm. In this past week, the decree is now that anyone attending court hearings have, has to be masked up. You can be asked to leave if you fail to comply. Council and self-represented parties must be in a position to confirm at the opening of a proceeding and at the start of each day of the proceeding to that their knowledge, no one involved on their side, and that includes counsel, the party, the accused, or witnesses, have any symptoms of illness that might be related to COVID-19. Effective immediately, the province is extending the freeze on rent increases until July 10th of next year under the powers of the Emergency Program Act and the COVID-19 Related Measures Act. This is an interim measure to provide stability and advance notice for renters and landlords while the new cabinet is sworn in. Increases set to happen on December the 1st of this year, they're cancelled, along with all pending increases straight through to next July. The province originally froze rent increases back on March the 18th. Elections BC is wrapping up the count of the mail-in ballots and over the weekend it was done. In Chilliwack, it became official that NDP's Dan Coulter beat the Liberal John Martin. In Abbotsford Mission, Mission Mayor Pam Alexis defeated Liberal Simon Gibson. And in Chilliwack, Kent, the NDP's Kelly Padden beat former Liberal turned independent Laurie Thronis by almost 1,400 votes. Chill TV spoke with MLA-elect Kelly Padden. Chill TV's News of the Weekend, we're talking with Kelly Patton, MLA-elect for Chilliwack. Kent, uh, belated congratulations now that uh, the count is officially over and Lori Thronis has officially conceded. So you've got the job for the next four years, Kelly. Now comes the hard part is learning your job. Uh, what is next? I assume you've already had a conversation with John Horgan, the Premier. Uh, do we know when the legislature will be back in session? Yeah, it's been a really exciting time. Uh, I have had a chance to speak with Premier Horgan, and I do know that they're working on the details of the swearing-in, as well as details about opening up the legislature in a safe way. So in the meantime, I've already gotten to work. I'm connecting with people across Chilliwack, Kent, uh, making sure that I get briefed on the ongoing issues as well as things that have been on people's minds. So a lot of work, hitting the ground running, and um, the details are still being worked out for, for the official ceremony pieces. Well, your learning curve just went from that to that straight up. Uh, I can imagine, have they already given you a binder full of stuff to, to, <laughs> to go through or, or at least online? Oh, the binder. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I had to go there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all the all the new MLAs, um, as well as returning MLAs, have orientations, um, and there's a lot of information. We're already participating um, in meetings and in trainings, so that learning curve is handled. I'm very fortunate that my previous job actually prepared me really well for the pace of the learning here. So I'm really confident that I'll be a, be able to be of service and really useful very quickly. You talk about the previous job, and for those who have forgotten because we were all wrapped up in the count, your 60-second business card, what do you bring to the table as the new MLA-elect? 
All right. Well, I mean, I've worked in advocacy, um, specifically in the community living field, for the better part of 15 years. Um, I've been a sessional instructor at UFV. I have worked, you know, hands-on as a community and residential support worker. And most recently, I was actually the provincial manager of government relations and policy for uh, Community Living BC. So working with ministry partners and um, you know, stakeholders across the province to make sure that the voices of the people I served were amplified. Kelly, again, a, a big congratulations, and you're always welcome here at Chill TV, and uh, have fun with that learning curve. <laughs> Thanks so much, Don. You're welcome, and you're watching Chill TV's News of the Week. The Paramount Project, which is the new senior social housing project on the old Paramount Theatre site, is back in the spotlight again. While funding from BC Housing is still months away, Chilliwack Community Services, who will operate the site, will be in front of Council next week applying for parking variances, parking spaces. They are expected to be able to house some 60 people. All the details of the project will be on the City Council agenda package on the City website, and that starts Friday afternoon. The annual Rotary Christmas Parade won't happen this year, but in its place will be the Rotary Christmas Show, presented by Mountain View Harley-Davidson and sponsored by the City of Chilliwack. It will air right here on Chill TV starting at 5 p.m. Saturday, December the 5th. The GW Graham Jazz Band will be one of the many performers involved in the live-streamed event. Yes, you can go fishing during COVID. On the way, grocery store and fishing tackle shop has been a favorite for anglers and has been for years. And yes, it is on the way to Chilliwack Lake, as well as tons of fishing and not far from Tractor Grease Pub and Music Venue. Despite COVID, nothing was going to stop anglers from having some fun with their third annual Coho Fishing Derby. 65 anglers took part. Ben Warner won first prize for the biggest fish at 11.13 pounds. Yes, that fish was that big. With the new COVID restrictions and recommendations in place, sports definitely has been affected. Via Sports has now shut down minor hockey, soccer, rugby, and other sports across the province for the next couple of weeks. This includes Chilliwack FC soccer and Chilliwack minor hockey. Fitness classes at the Landing Leisure Center and the GM Center have been suspended as well. While a full schedule for the BC Hockey League is still a ways away, they have revamped their television deal. Hockey TV has now been rebranded as BCHL TV. TV. And of course, they have a new website, bchltv.ca. That can take you to any specific team, as all teams will be pooled for any fan to log on to. Chill TV weather, we have had our first snow scare, and now it's back to a typical November, rain and 7 degrees. If you'd like to participate in reporting news in Chilliwack and you have a story you think we should know about, send us a note to news at chilltv.ca. We'd love to hear from you. That's the news this week. I'm Don Lane.